the last few years, Dave Arce has brought electronic fuel injection to the Lucas Oil Modified Series, and uh, this is kind of a big year for you. I know you were R&D in it last year, uh, really trying to get up to speed, but this year it's, it's legal in this series. How long has this taken to come to fruition? Well, it's been about uh, a year now, and w last year we were using a carburetor and injection. They were deciding what they wanted to do each time that we were racing, and this year we got it written in the rules, and it's now legal to run full-time, and that's what my plan is to do is run it all season. And what's the biggest benefit uh, for you as an engine builder to bring EFI into the series? Well, one of the things is is we can run unleaded fuel with this particular engine and fuel injection program, as well as it's a self-tuner, a self so we have a wideband oxygen sensor in it, and it constantly sniffs the exhaust and tunes itself, so I don't have to do any changes as far as uh, air fuel mixture. From a power standpoint, are we putting around the same amount of power? Yes, sir, we are. I build engines. As a matter of fact, quick qualifier tonight was my engine, and uh, it's about 600 horsepower, 620, somewhere in there, and I'm producing about the same on the pump gas. I know we've talked in the past about what it can do kind of from an environmental standpoint. Uh, in the long term, this, this could be a good thing for the series. There's no doubt about it. You know, leaded fuel is probably on its way out. We all know that, EPAs and so forth, especially here in California, and this is an unleaded fuel situation. It's efficient and all the other things that goes along, just like a generic car that we drive every day. Well, Dave, uh, thanks so much for your time. Uh, good luck here this year, and good luck with that motor, my friend. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me.